Hello, Pisces, and welcome to Karma on Deck. I am Karma. Let's do your Pisces reading for the week of January 20th through January 26th. Well into the first of the year already, January is winding down, so let's see what kind of energy we're pulling for Pisces. I've really come to identify with my Pisces side as I'm a Pisces rising and answers so many questions for me. So it's interesting to me how I watch my Pisces more than I watch my Capricorn anymore. So let's take a look and see what's going on for us, dear Pisces. <clears throat> In the house. Ooh, the world card. I'm feeling that shit. Queen of coins next to the world card. Ooh, a queer oh, Pisces for the win. New relationships. New projects. The strength card, which is all about balance. So we have the world card and we have balance. And we have the justice card. So here's what's interesting about all of this. It's go time for you. Um, <clears throat> this is a very beautiful back line for you to be having. I see you looking for money, which the Capricorn side of me is always looking for money. So as far as it being a Pisces trait, I don't know, but we'll see. We have the King of Swords. There's a lot of victory going on for Pisces right now. It feels as if you've got, like, things are finally coming to a head and you've got the victory. And this card literally means you've won the war. Now you must win the peace. I remember that being super profound to me because it's absolutely true. When we come up on a situation and it's like, you may have won in the divorce, but now you got to sell the house and move your stuff. Or you may have won the court case and they owe you money. Now you got to go get it from them. So you're right. But that doesn't mean that you have the actual victory. It means there's still some work to do. So whatever victory you've acquired at this point, it's telling us that you're moving forward and you still have some building to do. Travel's up and coming for you. Education is up and coming for you, whether that's teaching. I know personally mine is in the teaching spectrum, actually stepping into some leadership and teaching. So we have teaching, we have moves, and I mean, travel going on for you, possibly working with your projects in a worldwide um, a theater. We do the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups next to the Page of Cups tells us that there's some new relationships for you on the wings. The Four of Cups means you're going to be significantly more social than you ever have been. I see the Three of Coins. That has to do with work and labor. This is a labor of love for you guys, though. Completely just love to come on here and be here for you. So the Three of Coins has to do with you putting things back on the docket, things that you've been procrastinating, things that you've been putting off. This is you really actually getting down to where the rubber meets the road and doing the actual physical labor that's required to get your items done and your elements in play. There's a lot of pressure for you right now. So you're trying to see <clears throat> how you can bring all of these projects to ground and get them moving forward. You gotta be the locomotion behind all of that. Suddenly you're gonna start to feel things getting easier toward the end of the week. Five of Cups is telling us so that you have a little bit of a squint when it comes to other people and their promises. So the Five of Cups being you're not, you know, making sure that people aren't making promises they can't keep. Because what's true is this card here is all about somebody being, narcissists are really good with this one. When I see the Five of Cups, that's definitely someone who always has Either they play the victim or they have a tendency to be, you know, make a bunch of promises. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to do this thing for you. Or, oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to give you this thing. And it's constantly to the point where you're not sure which parts of the conversation are real or it's not necessarily a lie, but it's just somebody who just puts so much out there with painting the picture that you're not quite sure whether the substance is behind it. However, I do have the Queen of Wands for you, Pisces. This has to do with stepping into leadership management maybe taking on projects yourself when the play isn't quite going like it should. Um, also seeing the Six of Swords, things definitely getting easier for you. Ah, I pulled another card for you, Six of Wands, which is victory. So you have some money coming your way. If you notice on the Six of Wands, he's diving down and going for the diamond. I always call that one diving for the pearl. That's you actually getting the reward. Let's pull some cards for you on your relationships from the um, Mystic Dreamer deck. Dragon Tarot, now Mystic Dreamer. One more shuffle for you. Let's see what's going on for Pisces relationship wise. Boom. First thing, four of wands, commitment, queen of wands, work. So even though your relationships are coming into play, you're very focused on your money at this time. You're focused on getting that into alignment. So you have a little bit more to offer. Knight of cups, your emotions right there on the surface. Five of swords, be careful that you're not cutting corners in business and cutting corners in relationship. Make sure that you're giving all of your, like being honest with everything because the five of swords is all about you maybe um, not speaking up when you should, maybe letting things slide or even saying something to where you, because this is definitely victory. 
um, in a lot of ways, but this also plays with being right at times. Like what's the cost? What's the cost of being right? And this could be on either side of the fence, okay? The star card is showing up. So the star card in relationships has to do with you looking at how you play the bigger part, how you, what the give and take is, where you belong in the relationship, where you belong in the energy of it, okay? Ace of Cups, which is fulfillment. We have um, a bunch of love going on with that. I love seeing that. Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is all about decision making. But again, watch yourself and how you're interacting. Like just because you have to make a decision for you doesn't mean you have to be rude about it. Not saying you are, but I am just saying that the Queen of Swords sometimes can be carried over as something that's a little snappy. Um, I do see the Empress though too. So things are starting to feel a little pregnant. It's starting to feel as if it's go time. <clears throat> Those of you that have been pregnant know that there comes a moment when you are ready and that's it. So this is all about Pisces being ready. So you're ready for commitment. You're ready for love. You're ready to expand all of these things. Um, be cautious. Again, I'm seeing in your relationships, there's some of you that are walking away from some situations. We do have the lover's card though. Ooh, Capricorn in the house. So we do have the lover's card. So for those of you that have relationships that are already ongoing, this is that fate play. This is that play where it feels as if this is something you have to either heal, love, move through process the lover's card is something that isn't finished so those of you that are in your relationships and you're wondering where it's going the lover's card is cycle after cycle until you get it right okay um we also see the legacy card so pisces you're out there building your legacy you're out there with your relationships making sure that they're a strong foundation your biggest core function in relationships is longevity pisces doesn't want anything fly by night pisces doesn't want anything that has to do with um you know, superficial BS and the F boy kind of behavior. You want something that's significant and long lasting. But if you notice, you have the queen of wands and the king of coins. So Pisces, you're definitely playing with your money right now. You're not too focused on um, the outcome of your relationships. I wouldn't say focused, but you're decide you've made a decision somewhere along the line that you're not going to allow your relationships to bring you down. And you're definitely fighting with the concept of setting up things how you want them to be. Um, you're actually getting impatient with your relationships and wanting to really push and massage them into the thing that you want them to look like. Surrender is not easy in that respect, but we do see love and commitment for you. So those of you that are worried about your relationships, I would say take a deep breath and just allow them to unfold as they're supposed to because it's not really going anywhere. It may feel like it is right now, but it definitely doesn't feel like it is. We do have the devil card here. So the devil card can have some effects um, in our life if someone is playing with substance abuse or not telling the truth. So if you've had somebody that isn't been telling you the truth in the past, I would definitely look into that and trust your instincts as far as that goes. We do have celebration in place. So whatever this concept is that you're playing with and wondering if someone's being honest, we do have the three of cups, which is chemistry, that's energy, that's play, that's celebration. So if you have an anniversary coming up or a birthday, or if you're playing with this energy of celebration, you can expect a lot of that. You're really enjoying your relationships lately. Maybe that's because you're taking the emotional element out of it for once and starting to just really enjoy things as they are and not trying to manipulate the situation. Let's take a look and see what Divination of the Ancients has to say for us, your Pisces. If you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, karmaondeck.com. You should do that right away. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know how you feel your reading went. And please tell me where you are in the world. I love knowing where I reach. I've got clients all over the place. My Bebo in Egypt. Boom, I got some in Australia. Fire, spontaneity. See what this has to say for you. Pisces, this is for me too. Don't hold back. The fire card tells you to scream and shout and let it all out. Don't sing it. This is about the time or the situation. This is not the time or the situation to hide what you feel. Say it as it is and speak your truth. Stand up and be counted. For too long now you've rolled over and kept quiet. You may think it's proper way to behave, but it has in fact been restricting you. Your feelings have been squashed along with new ventures that you have come your way. It's time to release that inner fire and abandon inhibitions that have prevented you from living life to the full. Give yourself permission to say yes. The moment you do, the whole new world will open up, a whole new world will open up and you will be able to step forward in a blaze of glory. So interestingly enough, Pisces, my favorite coaching mechanism is to tell people to learn to say no. 
um, to the things that we don't want to do. But saying yes is just as important. Say yes to the things that you want to do. Say yes to the things that you choose. And it changes the flavor of how you behave with tasks that sometimes can feel like a chore. So if it's something, if it's not something you definitely want to do, say yes to the things that you definitely want to do and practice with your nose as well. Those are just as much a yes to yourself because if it's not something that you want to do, it's a no. So you're saying yes to yourself if you're choosing to like choose out of things that you know are like a burden or I'm not saying don't do things for other people, but make sure you have enough time to give it so you don't feel resentful. Make sure your needs are met so that you can come from an open cup. So it says, you will be able to step forward in a blaze of glory. Your incantation for the week, restrictions lifted, I am free to live the life that's meant for me. Boldly now, I seize each day as opportunity comes my way. So it's there's another little message here at the bottom that says, a situation calls for you to speak out. Release your fears by doing a fire walk. Holy shit. Connect with the elements of fire and become a fire keeper. You can do this literally by meditating with candles, playing, praying by candlelight, or more figuratively, by seeking out, enjoying things that really make you feel alive. Give yourself permission to enjoy yourself. Ooh, when's the last time you gave yourself permission to play? Seize the day, don't think, just do, and be spontaneous. I got my fireplace going. I'm going to be all about that fire and spontaneity. That's a Pisces for you. So there's your reading, Pisces. I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys next week.